Well, hello there, konnichiwa to you all, good morning. So I came today with the review for Bleach 530 called Everything But Rain Part 3. So uh, this will be kind of a different review. Uh, because this time I will foc focus in the characters that appeared. Uh, in resu in resume, uh, making a short, uh, this is simply the continuation of last chapter uh, about the flashback regarding Ishin past. So, uh, this chapter starts with Ishin already in the human world and he encounters uh, two Shinigami um, uh, I don't know if they are from the 10th division or not but I will assume they are because they knew him and kinda have um, talk uh, in friendly terms so uh, we can assume that these two Shinigamis belong to the 10th division. So, uh, then, uh, we again see that goofy personality of Ishin, but in the end he was also a serious guy that joking, joking, joking around, he simply said, guys, get lost, I will take over the situation well that's it then uh, about Ishin uh, later on he decides to attract what is uh, in the town uh, and for that he simply draws Engetsu and uh, begin uh, spreading uh, Reiatsu all over the place uh, for the reaction of the two guys that decided not to return to Soul Society but uh, be hidden they comment whoa that's Captain Shiba Reiatsu so apparently in his intent that uh, Ishin Riyatsu is pretty powerful. So then we saw uh, the guy screaming and so on, and then one of the best images of this is the appearance of uh, Vassal Lord class Olo. This Olo. Oh, this vast award is interesting uh, because the mask is pretty similar to the final mask that Olo Ishigo has when he's fighting Ukiora. Uh, so I wonder why is that? Uh, even the the sword uh, in his arm, he, the blade is kind of similar to Zangetsu in a way. However, uh, this could not this could not mean nothing because we also see. Uh, on the Iron Car Saga that Aribel also possesses a sword embedded in his in her arm. So uh, however about this vast lord I do wonder what the hell is a vast lord doing in the human world? Because if I remember correctly even the Shinigami say uh, or no, knew that Vastal Lordes class are pretty rare and usually they do not 
come from hiding or from their places where they are living. Uh, so it's kind of strange why a hostel order is in the human world. Unless this Vastal Orde was not a natural creation, because we know that uh, all those can evolve until, until the class of Vastal Orde naturally. However, since Kubo showed us Aizen and his group on the last chapter, I think that this Vastal Lord class Olo is most likely a creation Sorry about that, <laughs> the cold has returned again. Uh, but like I was saying, um, I think that this Vastal Lord most likely could be a creation of Aizen. But we don't knew much. However, I do wonder why his mask is very much similar to the mask that uh, Ishigo uses against Ukiora uh, could this imply that and this tied out with my second part about Mazaki we see Mazaki uh, is raised by the Ishida family uh, in the translation I read she treats Ishida mother as aunt I don't know if that's the correct translation or not. Uh, later on, I knew I knew that uh, another translation will come out, and I will see if uh, the term "aunt" also repeats herself on that translation. However, for now, she treats uh, a Ryukan mother as aunt. So this kind of implies that uh, the Kuro uh, Mazaki is a cousin of Ryukin or simply uh, the term aunt is a term she addresses Ryukin mother uh, as a term of respect for her being raised her Mazaki in this case um, in, in any case this is interesting because it explains uh, that Mazaki or uh, she do, does not know that uh, she will marry Ryukin but Ryukin knew or that's the plan of the Ryukin mother that have Mazaki and Ryukin married apparently because Mazaki belongs to a lineage of queenses that are pretty powerful when uh, Ryukin mother asks Mazaki about his holy training um, I do think that she is referring to the abilities that we see the Van der Rai using in the current arc. So this kind of implies that the Kurosaki family is a lineage of pure blood queens, yes, that probably is a lineage that belongs to the rulers of the Quincy's. This is also kind of interesting because could point the way that indeed Mazaki is a descendant of Juada. Um, she apparently is quite powerful or has a lot of power and potential. Enough to the Ishida family went her to marry in the family to strengthen Ishi the Ishida's Quincy blood more. Um, the personality of Mazaki is interesting because she is she possesses a personality similar to Matsumoto, and I think that will also be one of the reasons why, in the end, she did marry Ishin and Ishin fell in love for her and so on because uh, she possesses a personality very similar to Matsumoto that is that was a point interesting um, then we see a maid also uh, 
that uh, is speaking with Ryukin, a younger Ryukin, uh, a lot more cool Ryukin, uh, I think, in my opinion. I don't know what happened to Ryukin to change him so much. Uh, however, I have the impression that that maid will later be uh, the mother of uh, Uryu. That's my feeling. Oh well, but wrapping up the two parts of my uh, review, if this holy form or this holy training kinda implies that uh, Mazaki possessed the same abilities as the Van der Reich, I do wonder if two chapters ago when Mazaki was presented, when she saved Ishin, uh, Ishin asks her how could she defeat that thing. That thing, we know, is this vasto ward that appeared in this chapter. So I wonder if Mazaki did not use the same ability that Kirge also used fighting in Uekomundo when the guy absorbed Hyun and absorbed his, her, his power. So, what if Mazaki did defeat this Vasto Lord with that, abel, that ability and in the end absorbed the Vasto Lord into her? So, this could also explain why when Ishigo undergoing, undergoing the Shattered uh, training sh Shattered Kokken also uh, shattered Reich uh, or training he, while he besides uh, awaking his Shinigami powers he also awakes his holo powers what if these holo powers are a consequence of Mazaki in the past after defeat or to defeat this vassal lord she, due, she did use that ability and absorbed the hollow into her could be well sadly if, sadly I, apparently we will not have a bleach on next week uh, it's a shame i was carving for a chapter next week in any case i will make a um, preview uh, on next week also and uh, I will speak more about the chapter so that's all for my uh, review stay well Jamata Raishu most likely uh, and peace